currently at a job site, and I want to show you what a vent will look like. We're on a up on the roof, and uh, the vents will come in these boxes like this, and I wanted to show you a uh, that this carries a, a, a flap in there, and it has an insect screen on there. They sit up about yay high, as you can see the flap that sits in there. It's a one-way vent. It has an insect screen, and then a cap that snaps over the top keep the uh, moisture and elements out. We also have two types of air mesh material. This is the blue air mesh. It's called the fingers of air mesh. It allows, it reaches into the roof and allows the vent to stay open and breathe. It's a little thicker, you can compress it, and it doesn't stick up as high so that water can travel over the top of it. We have a thicker air mesh material. It's quite a bit thicker and it allows the vent to sit up and keep the valve open because the, the suction works so well when the valve opens up, which you'll see later in our, in our video, uh, that the valve opens up and it wants to close itself or suck itself down to the, uh, to the insulation. This keeps it up off the insulation and allows it to the valve to stay open and, and breathe more. If you pan over this way, you'll see a finished product and you'll see that there is the thicker in the air mesh right here, and then the finger of air mesh works its way down there. You can see that it's obstructing a little bit of the water, but not much at all. It allows the water to go on. We'll go take a look and see what it looks like underneath the membrane right now. the uh, air mesh looks like under the membrane. If we look, we got the thicker air mesh that the vent sits on, and then we've got a finger of air mesh, the blue, that reaches down into the roof. The membrane then covers up this, and we install the membrane that sits right over the top right here.